Hi, this is Glenn Young with VR Adventures, and just continuing on the previous uh, subject, which was about gear. Back, now we're going to move into technical gear systems and uh, backpacks and sleeping systems. So come on over here, and we'll take a look. So for technical gear, uh, there's not a lot that you actually need to bring as a client for a mountaineering trip. Um, here we have a lightweight Kular harness. Uh, huge advantage of the Kular is it's just so small. It packs down small, doesn't weigh very much, fits in your pack very easily. Um, buckling system, you just want to make sure that it is double backed. And if you don't understand what double backed is, just make sure you check with your guide or check with any of your friends who have previous mountaineering and climbing experience. Uh, here we have a Black Diamond Raven Ice Axe. Uh, this is a very common ice axe, and one of the reasons it's so common is because uh, it's very durable. It has a really great uh, forged head, um, cuts into snow really well, it's designed for self-arrest. And anytime you're purchasing an ice axe, you want to make sure that it is an ice axe and not a technical ice tool, which is designed for climbing steep ice and not designed for self-arrest. Here we have uh, two locking carabiners for attaching yourself into the rope, whether you're a middle climber um, or the end climber. Uh, Non-locking carabiner, which your guide will show you what's that for, what that is for. Um, there's a variety of uses. Sometimes that could be for a leash. Sometimes that could be for attaching pieces of rescue gear uh, to your harness. And then we have uh, a single prussic. You might see other systems where they're using two prussics. We start out with a single prussic until you've had more advanced courses that allow you to use a self-rescue system, which involves two prussics on the rope at the same time. Here's the sleeping system. Um, here I have my sleeping bag already in a compressed stuff sack and this stuff sack happens to be uh, very water resistant, almost waterproof in the event we get lots of rain in the mountains, which can happen even at high elevation and on glaciers. Um, inside is an 800 fill down bag, which is much lighter and packs down much smaller than synthetic fills of a similar temperature rating. Uh, this is a, uh, an inflatable sleeping pad. Um, it's rated above 5R value, which is uh, a rating of the insulative value of a product. Um, and this particular one is called the X-Therm, um, and it weighs, I believe, right around a pound, something like that. And uh, I've taken it out of its original stuff sack and put it in a, a little bit more of a heavy-duty heavy, heavy duty stuff sack. Um, that protects the pad a little bit better, but also gives me an extra stuff sack that I can use for hanging my food, so I don't have to bring uh, an, another stuff sack additionally to the ones that I'm already bringing with me. And uh, last, we'll just take a look at the backpack that I have here. Um, the backpack that I'm using is a Black Diamond 75 liter mission pack. And what's most important about your backpack is that it fits you well, um, and the fitting can be done two ways. Um, this particular model is already a uh, standard size, so um, this is a men's medium backpack and that seems to fit my frame, my body quite well. Others you actually have an adjustable frame inside and you'll want to get that adjusted for you at the store where you bought it or talk to someone who's an outdoor professional to adjust it for you if you don't know yourself. Um, and another great feature uh, about this pack is simply its size, 75 liters. Um, and 75 liters uh, for this particular type of pack seems to be just about right for me for peaks like Mount Baker and Mount Rainier where I have quite a bit of gear um, but I want to pack it down fairly small. If you're doing a larger peak like Denali, uh, for the most part 75 liter backpack is pretty small. You might need to go up to 110 liter and if you're doing more a backpacking trip or a lighter mountaineering trip you might be able to get away with a 50 even 65 liter pack, something in that range. If you have any more questions about gear, make sure to take a look at our website at meradventures.com. Thanks.